Good morning and welcome to day one of Vlogmas. It is Tuesday, December 1st. I've never done Vlogmas before, but I've been vlogging now for quite a few years. <laughs> yeah, and so I thought I would give it a shot this year. We are staying home for the holidays like most of y'all are and I just wanted to document Nora's first Christmas season where she is not a teeny teeny newborn. You know, now she's much more mobile and much more into things and it's just really fun. So I want these memories. Yeah, I want these memories for our family and I know that a lot of y'all, it's just been such a weird hard year and um, I have heard from you that you find some comfort in my <laughs> vlogs and I really appreciate that and I understand because I find comfort in vlogs that I watch. So with that in mind, I thought I would give Vlogmas a shot. So I'll be vlogging the 25 days of December. Okay cold out and Charlie wants to come back in. I'll be vlogging the 25 days of December. I think some days I might do like recipe or cooking, um, cookie vlogs, things like that. But overall, there will be a new video every day for the 25 days of December starting today with the first, tomorrow will be the second, and so on and so forth. If I have to skip a day or something, I'll let you know. But welcome to it. This morning I made myself a big cup of coffee critical and um, we started our two little advent calendars we have the tree with the little ornaments so we put the first ornament on and then Nora has a little people advent calendar that's adorable and she loved it so she's gonna love opening that up every day so that was really fun to do with her she's just growing up so much and she's able to interact with us in such a way that it's just really fun so I'm gonna get myself together for the day I mean I'm pulled together to some small degree um, she's still in her PJs right yeah, that's right. Um, so our nanny is coming, Nora's nanny is coming um, here in another hour or so. So I'm gonna get us fed some breakfast, things like that so that when our nanny comes, I can start working because it is the wake of Black Friday right now and um, it is slightly chaos, chaos. Let me just show you real quick. Okay, so here you have it. Can you see that? Let's do it in comparison to something that's a standard size. Like here's a roll of masking tape. These are all the orders that we have opened, hundreds and hundreds. I think it's about five or 600 orders. So we're really excited about them, but I have a lot of work to do. Those of y'all who've been watching for a little while know that I recently went through a rebrand for my Etsy shop, my blog, and my YouTube channel. And um, this is my Etsy shop logo, Blair Lamb Design. And I just love it. And so I wanted to have it on a physical item because it's all obviously been digital. And so I was ordering some more packaging materials for my shop and I saw that they were doing a sale on these mugs. So I ordered this one that says Blair Lamb Design. Didn't that turn out cute? So I haven't been using mugs that often, honestly, because because I have a baby and it's easier to put my coffee in a thermos so that it stays hot longer, but in the evenings as it gets colder, I love having a cup of tea, so I thought I could use this. And some mornings when, you know, Riley's here and we can tag team it. But I thought that was so cute. I love it. I love seeing it printed physically, like I said, since it's all just been digital so far. I'm taking a quick break from Etsy packaging. I'm about 75% done for today, which is fantastic. Nora's out on a walk with her nanny. And we are trying Daily Harvest. These are smoothie cups that come frozen and then you make them in your blender. This is the busiest time of year for us and eating well is always a super big struggle during November and December. So we thought we would give them a shot. This is not sponsored, but I know that they have sent me, like if you were, well, we can't give a review yet, but I know that there's a referral code that I can put below. Um, if you're like a member of Daily Harvest, I'll put that below in case you want to check it out. But let's open up, let's open up the package and see what we have in here. All right, so when you open it up, this is all, it's very cold, frozen in here. And then there are these different little cups. They're like little um, cardboard kind of style cups. 
and each one is a different smoothie flavor. So this one's tart cherry raspberry. They have some cool ones that I got for us to try. Cold brew and almond. We've had our eye on these for a long time. Ginger and greens, Riley will like that. And Riley's actually the one last week that said, let's go ahead and order a box from Daily Harvest because we're both struggling to eat well right now because we're just under a lot of work strain. You pour the whole cup of frozen fruit and frozen whatever into the freezer and then it says fill the cup to the top with your preferred liquid. They said almond or oat milk is their favorite. Pour into the blender and then you can put it back into this cup and then grab a straw. So that's like super, super easy and it's super frozen. So I'll, we can give a review over the course of Vlogmas, of course, but I thought this sounded pretty cool and we wanted to give it a shot. All right, I had them all laying like this in our freezer. Of course, putting them up and down would have looked better, but you wouldn't be able to read. If they were up and down, they would all just have black tops. So I put them like this so that you can see what each one is. I'm really excited to try them. I might try one for lunch. We need to change that. Okay, it's been such a productive morning. Nora's nanny just left. Nora is down for a nap. And I got about 150 orders packaged and they're on my front porch for pickup, which is like amazing. I feel so good about that. So I just got a package from Zappos, the online shoe store, um, because I picked up a few things on Black Friday. So I wanted to show you one pair of shoes for Nora and two for myself. And then I'm gonna make a little smoothie for lunch because it's 1 p.m. already and I'm super, super hungry. So first I'll show you these shoes. I ha literally haven't even opened them, so we're gonna open them together. All right, so let's start with Nora's. So my sister's son, Henry, has been walking for a long time now, longer than Nora, and so Allie, my sister, oh my gosh, oh, stop it. Allie told me these stride right shoes are really good for new walkers because they're super flexible. Oh my stars, those are precious. Oh, she's gonna look so stinking cute in those. They're like little tennis shoes, but they're sparkly. Oh, I love those. Okay, so those are gonna be like her first real walking shoes. She has those Uggs and I love them. I use them whenever we take walks. I put them on her and it keeps her little toes warm, but this will be great as she continues to actually walk herself around more. Oh my gosh, precious. Okay, so those, these are little stride rights. Um, and I got her a size five. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't even with how cute those are. Can you imagine? Oh, like a little person. And then I got myself a new pair of walking shoes. Ooh, I love those. I really like Brooks for walking shoes. Um, these are the Brooks Ghost. And um, the last pair I have is two years old and you really are supposed to replace them more frequently than that. And I can feel that my um, like hips and knees are starting to get sore after walks because they're just so worn out. So I got a new pair for myself for all the long walks I go on. You could also use them for running. I'm not much of a runner, but I like those a lot. Oh yeah, those are really cool looking. I like that colorway a lot, and I know that these are super, super comfortable. Yep, okay. So, we'll continue with the trend, and putting them all in their little stages. I wear a women's 10 in tennis shoes. I typically, well before pregnancy, I wore a nine in everything except for tennis shoes, and I wore tens in those, and now I wear a nine and a half in everything except for tens. So, I'm like, goodness, if we have more babies, my shoe size is just gonna go up and up and up. Um, and then I got these little booties for myself for the winter. Oh, those are cute. These were on like a big sale, like 30 or 40% off or something. They're by Lucky, and I like them because they're 
a little bit lower of a heel. I have a pair that I really like, but they're number one, they're suede and not leather, the ones that I have, and they have a higher heel, so they're a little bit less comfortable. I think I got these in a nine and a half. I should have because that's the size. I find myself picking out, yeah, nine and a half. I find myself picking out nines because I've been a nine for so, so, so long. But after pregnancy, Oh my gosh, those are super cute. So I gotta try those on for sure. I gotta try both of my pairs on and try Nora's little shoes on. But those were, I only got like a couple of things on Black Friday. I looked for, I had a list of things that I've been interested in purchasing, but have you know waited until Black Friday to see if I could get them on a good deal. And I really only bought, I mean, I can't think of anything else I got besides these shoes. I probably got one other thing. Um, but I was super excited about these. These will be great for me and my walks. This will be great for Norni. And these will be great for, you know, the one time a month right now that I get dressed up or, you know, just put on jeans instead of leggings. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try this one, the mint and cacao one. That sounds, I love, mint chocolate chip ice cream is my favorite. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna open it up. Oh, here's what the inside looks like. Spinach, looks like avocado, banana. I guess it says on the side here exactly what's in everything, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. Okay, and then I have unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I'm gonna go ahead and add. They say, what do you do? You add it all the way to the top, fill cup to top with your preferred liquid Okay. All right, so here's what it looks like. I mean, you know, not the most beautiful. Let's taste it. Oh, I like that. That's really yummy. It's not sweet like ice cream would be, but it has that minty cocoa. Oh, that's good. I like that a lot. Look who has her new shoes on. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Come here, can you walk here with your new shoes? Can you walk to mama? Come on. Can you walk to mama with your new shoes on? <laughs> Come here. You look so cute. Oh, you saying hi to Charlie Bear? Is that your puppy? Yeah. Oh, you can walk. Come on, Nor Nor. Come on. Come on. Good job. Good job. You can do it. Hey guys, so here's the deal. So we placed a grocery pickup order yesterday from 5 to 6 p.m. and we got a message saying that our order was delayed and it would be ready in the next couple of hours and we didn't get a notification that it was ready until 6 a.m. this morning so it took a super super long time so and a lot of stuff was out so we're gonna go to the regular grocery store and go in and pick up the things that were out of Walmart and then we're gonna head over to Walmart and um, do the rest of the pickup what do you think Nora I love shopping with her. She's like my little buddy. You see everything? What do you see? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I bet you would like some of that <laughs> with the little shoes. We're home from both grocery stores and I'm making some of these for Nora and I to split for lunch. And I went ahead, a lot of the things I got today are baking supplies. So I went ahead and started all of my Christmas baking supplies putting them into this little bin just because it's easier to have them all in one spot. Um, you know, I have like peanut butter for the peanut butter blossoms I like to make and then a few other things. So I said at the beginning of this video um, that I was planning on doing some of my Vlogmas days would be Christmas cookie recipes. So that rings true. So this is kind of, I'm gathering this for that. Riley's home from lunch. Riley's home for lunch. Yep. <laughs> And Nora is drinking water out of her new cup. What do you think? That's right. You look like such a big girl with your little tennis shoes on. We are out taking a walk. It is chilly. This is the chilliest walk we've taken yet this year. 
I never walked with her when she was teeny tiny at the beginning of this year um, because I was having a hard time. But now, it's about 50 degrees. You can probably hear all that wind. I got her bundled up. We'll see if we can go for like 30 minutes. It's a beautiful day and it feels so good to get outside. It feels so amazing out here walking and enjoying this weather. It's definitely on the cold side. I'm glad I have Nora all bundled up. Can you hear that wind? <laughs> it's very windy, but look how beautiful it is. This is my favorite, favorite walking trail. It's so nice, so relaxing. It's quiet and peaceful. Look, there's like, it's just nice. Um, and the trees leaves are all almost gone. If you've watched previous vlogs, I have been, I come here a lot and um, the trees have been so, so beautiful, but those days are gone. <laughs> it's, I mean, nearly gone. It's looking like winter, but winter has its own beauty in its own right. I'm crossing my fingers for a little bit of snow this year here. We haven't gotten like a good snow in two, two winters, so I would love that. We're in North Texas, so sometimes we do. Sometimes we do, we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna continue this little walk. Nora's having a great time. She loves being outside so much. I do too. All right, we just finished our walk. It was about 35 minutes, 34.08. We walked 1.77 miles. That felt really nice. So now it's about five o'clock. We're gonna swing by and say hi to Riley. And then we're gonna go home. I'm gonna get dinner going. Um, I am currently listening to this fantastic podcast called Direct Appeal. I highly recommend it if you're into true crime podcasts. It is a really good one. All right, it's a little after six o'clock and I am working on dinner. Riley's making a fire right now. So we are having steak with this steak sauce, which is new to me. It looks delicious. So here it is, here are all the different parts of it and then um, the butter. So you melt the butter and then add it. And this has like minced garlic and horseradish and Dijon mustard and um, some fresh herbs in it. It just sounds, it smells incredible, a shallot. So we're gonna try that on the steak. And then in the air fryer, you can probably hear the humming. We have some sweet potatoes that we're gonna have, um, we're gonna have. <laughs> We're letting them kind of bake off in the sweet potato and then we'll have those and then some green beans So we're having steak and baked sweet potatoes and green beans for dinner and I will leave a link to This oh my steak sauce below asleep we have a fire roaring in the fireplace and we have some red wine and Riley did his reverse sear on flame and yawn so they get a crust all the way around them so so delicious so and then we have sweet potatoes and green beans and this is that sauce that I made it looks amazing um, and a little butter for the sweet potatoes and we are happy oh, a lot of butter <laughs> is this mostly butter no, it's not actually. This has a lot. Of, it ha well, it has a lot of butter in it. Yes, okay. if that's your question. It looks like butter. That's why I asked. It's kind of like a buttery sauce. <laughs> yeah. And then this is just um, pure butter. I'm not, do you I'm need not. any other kinds of butter for your meal today? What kind of butter do we have for the green beans? Because um, we got butter for this and this. I can go get some other kind of butter for the green some beans. Some spray butter. <laughs> we just finished dinner. What did you think? Really great. Really good new. I like that for our steaks from now on. Yeah, super good. So we have some leftovers. Um, and so I sorted it into, this is like a silicone mold that you can use for freezing, like anything, baby food, whatever. And so I put the portions of the steak sauce into four of them and I'm gonna freeze it. And then once they're frozen, I'll pop them out into a Ziploc. And then we can have steak two more times and we can have, you know, each have a portion of this twice. So I'm gonna pop the lid on this and stick it. It's easier to do with two hands, but I'm gonna pop it into the freezer for a little while. Hey guys, it is, I don't know, maybe nine o'clock? 9.45, wow, later than I expected. I am getting ready to wash my face and brush my teeth and get in PJs and get in bed. <laughs> I'm really tired, it's been a really awesome day. Thank you so much for following along with me today on this 
vlogmas day one and um, i really look forward to sharing more throughout the rest of this month so i will see you tomorrow for vlogmas day two thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye